Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. Today we're putting your stoic knowledge to the test with 12 famous quotes from the legendary philosopher Seneca. How well do you know his teachings? In Ultimate Stoic Quiz, can you guess these Seneca quotes quiz? Let's find out. Through this quiz, we are looking to enhance wellness of mind and spirit by investigating the teachings of one of humanity's great Stoic philosophers. Stoicism, which originated in ancient Greece, remains incredibly relevant today. It offers practical advice on living a balanced, resilient and fulfilling life. My credentials, purpose and journey. I'm Gerard and I'm passionate about guiding you, the viewer, through the power of holistic wellness, in this case, wellness of mind and spirit. After a decade of struggling with my health from ages 50 to 60, I found my way to health through adopting holistic practices. Now at age 72, I've enjoyed 12 years of being completely symptom-free thanks to 18 years of daily practice and research. Here on Holistic Wellness 24-7, I share my journey to help you take radical responsibility for your wellness. My videos focus on the how-to of expanding your lifespan and, more importantly, your health span. Wellness of mind and spirit is an essential element in achieving this. I have transformed my life through holistic wellness practices, and I know you can too, so let's get started. All right, here's the challenge. It's, I'm going to present you with a series of famous quotes from Seneca, and you'll try to identify their meanings and significance in Stoic philosophy. Sounds easy, right? Well, it's more challenging than you might think. These quotes are cryptic and profound, and they'll require some serious Stoic knowledge to decipher. These 12 quotes are designed to test your understanding of Stoic principles, from the nature of virtue and morality to the importance of living in accordance with reason and nature. Some may be familiar, while others will test your philosophical insight. Either way, they all offer a window into the mind of one of history's greatest thinkers. So, are you ready to put your Stoic knowledge to the test? Let's dive in. Question one, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. What does Seneca mean by this? I, greed leads to poverty of the soul. B, material wealth defines poverty. C, having less makes you poor. D, poverty is a result of bad luck. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is A. Greed leads to poverty of the soul. Seneca teaches that it's the endless craving for more that makes us feel poor, not a lack of material wealth. Question two. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. What concept is Seneca highlighting? A. Reality is always harsher than expected. B. Worry and fear create unnecessary suffering. C. Imagination is key to happiness. D. We cannot escape the suffering of life. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is B. Worry and fear create unnecessary suffering. Seneca is pointing out that much of our distress comes from imagining worst-case scenarios that never happen. Question 3. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Which Stoic idea does this represent? A. Challenges are impossible to overcome. B. Fear prevents action. C. Difficult tasks should be avoided. D. Hardship is inevitable. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is B. Fear prevents action. Seneca reminds us that difficulties often arise because we don't take bold steps due to fear, not because the tasks themselves are impossible. Question 4. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. What is Seneca teaching us here? A. Luck is purely random. B. Success depends entirely on luck. C. You create your own luck through preparation. D. Opportunities are often wasted. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is C. 
you create your own luck through preparation. Seneca emphasizes that so-called luck is really the result of being prepared when opportunities arise. Uh, question five, as is a tale, so is life, not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. What principle is this quote highlighting? A, a long life is the most important goal. B, quality of life is more important than quantity. C, every life is equally valuable. D, life should be enjoyed for as long as possible. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is B. Quality of life is more important than quantity. Seneca is urging us to focus on living well rather than simply living long. Question six. While we wait for life, life passes. What is Seneca cautioning against here? A. Patience is a virtue. B. Go. Life will reward those who wait. C. We often waste life waiting for the future. D. Time moves too slowly. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is C. We often waste life waiting for the future. Seneca warns that we lose the present moment by waiting for some ideal future that may never come. Question 7. Begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. What is this quote encouraging? A. Planning your future carefully. B. Living with urgency. C. Each day is a new opportunity. D. Counting the days until retirement. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is C. Each day is a new opportunity. Seneca is teaching that we should treat each day as a chance to live fully rather than postponing life. Question 8. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Which Stoic concept does this represent? A. Happiness comes from future planning. B. The present moment is all we have. C. We should always plan ahead. D. Dependence on others leads to unhappiness. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is B. The present moment is all we have. Seneca is urging us to find joy in the present rather than anxiously looking ahead to the future. Question 9. He who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. What does this quote suggest? A. Fear of death leads to inaction. B. Death should always be avoided. C. Life is more important than death. D. Courage is less important than survival. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is A. Fear of death leads to inaction. Seneca warns that fear of death can prevent us from fully living and accomplishing meaningful things. Question 10. He who is brave is free. What stoic idea is Seneca highlighting? Is it... A. Only brave people can achieve financial freedom. B. Courage is the key to freedom. C. Freedom requires great physical strength. D. Fearlessness leads to reckless behavior. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is B. Courage is the key to freedom. Seneca teaches that true freedom comes from having the courage to face life's challenges without fear. Question 11. It is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. What concept does this reflect? Is it... A. The mind is weak without external strength. B. External events can defeat the mind. C. The mind has control over how it responds to challenges. D. The mind is always subject to fate. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is C. The mind has control over how it responds to challenges. Seneca emphasizes that no matter what happens, the mind can remain unconquerable by controlling its responses. 
Question 12. Difficulty comes from our lack of confidence. What does this quote imply? Is it... A. Confidence is not important in Stoicism. B. Most difficulties arise from external forces. C. A lack of confidence creates unnecessary hardship. D. True Stoics avoid all challenges. Pause for viewers to answer. The correct answer is C. A lack of confidence creates unnecessary hardship. Seneca is highlighting that our perception of difficulty often comes from within and confidence can help us overcome obstacles. How did you do? Did you guess most of the quotes correctly or were a few more challenging than expected? Let me know your score in the comments below. Seneca's wisdom continues to guide us in living a fulfilling life where we focus on what's within our control, embrace the present and let go of unnecessary fear. Whether you ace the quiz or learn something new today, these timeless teachings remind us to live with virtue, courage and mindfulness. Thanks for joining me on this ultimate Stoic quiz. If you'd like to share your own scores or favourite Seneca quotes, leave them in the comments below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content on Stoicism and philosophy.